Now, the DA's uh, message throughout this campaign has been consistent. Rescue South Africa. Why do we need to rescue South Africa? Well, we believe that where our country is at this stage, it's a very, very crucial stage that we need to rally and get together to rescue our country from further decline, from further destruction that has been ongoing since the ANC has taken power. And that if we don't rescue South Africa now, we might not have a country a few years down the line. Mm. Now, this election for all voters is a clear binary. It's either the ANC and the EFF coalition of corruption or it's the multi-party charter. What would, could South Africa look like in 2029 if it's the ANC, EFF coalition of corruption versus 2029 when it's been five years of the multi-party charter in government? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there are two choices that the electorate faced. One is a doomsday coalition that has the ANC, the EFF, and even MK with Jacob Zuma. The one is the multi-party charter anchored by the DA. And the stark difference in there is that should the multi-party charter get into power, we're going to see a prosperous South Africa. Africa that is governed well, a South Africa that functions, that has accountable and ethical leadership, and one that restores everyone's faith and belief in our rainbow nation and the success and the promise of what 1994 was about. Okay. No, thanks. Uh, I must also ask you, I mean, it's, it's clear when you're on the ground campaigning that, that people are really struggling inside this country. This election is not about, you know, petty politicking. It's not about the politics of, of personalities. It's about South Africans that, that need uh, rescuing. And, and do you think that the DA is the right party to rescue this country? Absolutely. I mean, whenever we do ground activities, whether it's in Limpopo, in KZN, and I've had the um, advantage of traveling the length and breadth of these countries, that South Africans are in large numbers resonating with the DA's message to rescue South Africa. They are resonating with our message to eliminate load shedding and water shedding. They are resonating with our message to make sure that, you know, we half violent crime in our country. They are resonating with our message to professionalize the public service and end cater deployment because they have seen the damage that it does not only to our public service, but in terms of service delivery to the residents. Mm. Now, Solly, what would your final message be for residents watching at home in the run-up to this crucial election on the 29th of May? My final message would be we have a a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to rescue our country from further decline. This is a golden opportunity that we have to elect a government that will lead South Africa towards prosperity, that will lead South Africa out of unemployment, that will lead South Africa towards a safe country where our children and even women can feel safe, not only in their households, but in the streets, where we can have a functional government that performs and runs professionally and that can deliver to all people.